The goal of the get up and go is to save time in your morning routine. That's all right. So Mike's got some fast track ideas to see how far he can push the automation envelope. In this pod, we're going to have a lot of automated systems, and one of the most important are the ones that do all the kind of hygiene for you, brushing your teeth, maybe shaving, feeding you, dressing you. And we're not quite sure if these are feasible to do, or even if we really want to do them or not. An electric motor and an oscillating arm take the toothbrush to a whole new level. Hey, this works pretty well. It seems like it's working. I don't know how to get around the other side, though. <laughs> or do they? I can get the bottom set, but not the top. Right. For this to work, this thing would really have to rotate oh. all around like your wrist does. Replicating human hand movement is an incredibly complex task. But Mike's not giving up on automated functions yet. He's got another idea, a robotic shaver. He attaches a safety razor to a small pneumatic rod. The shaver's test performance on an innocent apple is all Zaz needs to see. I don't think I need to bleed for this experiment. <laughs> Rename it to the torture pod. Torture pod. <laughs> I'm questioning his dedication to science right now. North was talking smack about me not putting my face in his facial mutilator. When I see North go through all the indignities that I've suffered on this build, you know, maybe I'll have some respect for his opinion on that matter. Zaza's complaints fall on deaf ears, though, as later in the day, Dr. North serves up yet another indignity. Mike's making breakfast. Got a frying pan, we got some milk and cereal, got some eggs, got some sausage. We're gonna have all kinds of fun. But he's not making Zaza plate. Breakfast will be delivered through a system Mike's invented called the food zooka. Breast air goes in here, pressurizes the cylinder, food comes out through this tube, hit the switch. Sounds appetizing. We're gonna test it with water first, because, well, we haven't tested it yet. Zaz controls his intake using a tongue depressor. It's messy, but it works. Next, they move up to solid food, oatmeal and cereal. So in the blender, we have uh, the cereal, which wouldn't fit through the, the tube. You know, maybe we'll make a bigger tube, but for now, we're gonna have a, uh, we're just gonna blend it up so it'll all go through. The moment's looking like the way to go is to puree, but you know what, you can puree about anything. So Mike loads up the cereal soup and tries again. In theory, it's a good idea. I'm not hungry anymore. But in practice, the food zooka isn't what Mike had hoped. 